Okay, guys, as, as promised, um, I'm going to show you today how to get your arcade instruments into your iOS devices. So being it's using it in Cubasis or any other iOS application. So first things first, you need a DAW that can sample VST instruments. So in this case, I'm using FL Studio. And if I'm not mistaken, you need FL Studio 20 and above, right? So... Uh, obviously, once you have the DAW, then you need a kit, of course. As you can see, I already have a, a couple of few instances in here, right? And uh, for you to do that, what you need to do is um, obviously choose the presets. So in this case, I have this preset right here. So, and obviously choose the key E minor. And then what you need to do now is right click on that track, go to create direct wave instruments, right? And then what I'd suggest is for you to create a folder on your desktop or, or wherever the case is called arcade, right? So once you have that folder, for example, I have that on my desktop. Once you have, once you have that folder, now save, why well, say save us? right you need to write in the name of the preset in this case it's called um obviously you can name it whatever you want but i, pre I prefer to name it after the preset so then i know what what i'm dealing with right so leave and learn and learn and then what I'll, one thing i also do is i add the the name of the key so in this case e minor right the reason why I add the name, the, the name of the key is because um, just in case I want to use this preset, like once I'm on, on, I'm on my iOS device, if I want to use this preset on a different project, I know the key and then it's easy for me to transpose to a, a relative key of the project, right? So, okay, once you have the key, once you have the name, you just need to tap on save, click on save, sorry. And when you open this for the first time, what you're going to have is this section, right? everything is going to be is going to be selecting the whole um the whole keys all of the keys right but generally arcade starts from roughly yeah arcade roughly starts from here from this key so you just drag this point up to this key yeah up to this key okay Yep, and it ends roughly around here. So you just drag this point to the section. Why it says keeper zone, I just leave it on one because if you change the number, it's gonna kind of like sample, leave this, sample this, leave this, sample this, leave this, and sample this. So you know normally the, the samples on arcade are on white keys. So obviously that's gonna miss a uh, couple of samples. So I just leave that on one. And then when it says stop on length, I just choose max length. Over here, I just put 20 seconds I choose 20 seconds over here. What you need to do, you need to change the section from beats, bars, or whatever the case is, to section two seconds. That's what I prefer, right? Obviously, you can do uh you can choose what you want to, but I prefer a little bit in seconds. And then one the first time you open this, this two will be activated. So this is for when you want to open the direct wave instrument in FO Studio, right? Which in this case we don't need, so I just deactivate that. And if you have this activated after it's created a preset, you won't be able to access the sample. So you just need to leave this off. You just deactivate that. Once that is done, you tap on start. And obviously it's going to uh, go through the whole thing and whatnot. Right. So I'll just fast forward the section and then come see how when the whole thing is done. Okay, guys, so 
um, as you can see now, the whole thing is finished, right? So for you to get that on your iOS device, all you need to do is go to um, Finder, um, look for the folder where you saved the, the presets, right? So in this case, in my archive, archive folder, as you can see, it's created the um, direct wave formats, right? But then obviously on top of that, that's the folder with all the samples in there. You see, so every sample, as you can see, has, a, has um, the key name, right? So C sharp four, C sharp five, and so on. And this is really useful when it comes to mapping those samples in audio layer, for example. So uh, all you need to do now is click on the folder, click on share, airdrop, and then choose your iPad or whatever iOS device you have, right? So in this case, I'm going to choose my iPad. Okay, and now let's go to the iPad. So as you can see on the iPad now, the pop-up menu comes up, the airdrop menu comes up, right? So all you need to do is choose files. And this is going to ask you where you want to save it. So I just choose on my iPad, right? And since I already have it, obviously it's asking me if I want to say replace. So I'm just going to choose replace anyway, because just for the tutorial. And this is the samples. This is the folder with all the samples in there, as you can see, right? So once you have that now, you go into your DAW, your sampler, whatever the case is. In this case, audio layer. What I'm going to do is go into the main directory. And I have a folder called Arcade. And this is where I save all my all my Arcade presets, right? So, um, to create an instrument, to create a folder, obviously, just tap on folder, write the name of the folder, and then done, or create, right? And then go into the folder, and then create a new instrument, so it says instrument down on the bottom. So you tap on that, give it a name, so it's called, what was it called again? Live and Learn. And then C, uh, C, E minor. So like I said, the reason why I end, the reason why I add the, the key of the presets in there is because maybe I want to use this preset in a different project and I want to tune the presets to my projects, right? So then it's easier once you know the key of the, of the, of the presets. So done. And then to import the samples, all you need to do is tap in anywhere on this black region, yeah, region on this black region. Anyone is black region, so tap there, select the last option, import samples from files up, whatever the case is called. So you tap on that, and then now you go and look for where the sample is saved. So I did save it to my iPad, and there's the samples, the folder right there. Click on that, click on these three arrows, uh, three arrows, on these three dots at the top, right? And then choose select, and then choose select all, and then choose open. If you choose done, it's going to close this window, so you need to choose open, and then it's going to send the whole thing into audio layer. Now in audio layer, as you can see, we, it's given us three options to map the samples. In this case, since we have, since every sample is named with the key, right? So C sharp, C5, whatever the case is, I'm going to choose the, the middle option. If you can see, it says, for example, cello FF uh, A3 sharp, wave blah 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 so it's, what it's going to do is it's going to it's going to um map every sample according to the key that is in the, the sample's name so tap on that and as you can see it's mapping everything to the to the keys and there you go So yeah, there you go. So now you have your 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 presets, and you can then obviously add effects to it if you want to use the internal uh, audio layer effects or use the Cubase's built-in effects or AUV trees. And there you have it. So so let's see what we can make, and see you later.
Okay, so um, so what I just did, what I just did in this section, basically I did upload, I did load uh, this sound. So what is it? So I did load that sound into um, what's it called? Segments, right? So what I did was tapped on that, and then um, the sound is in this folder and. Um, the name is B4, B4, it ends with B4, because obviously that's the name of the notes, and that's how I recognize it, right? It's B4. So once you have that in, I'm going to do a, a bit of chopping, just to play, so that I, I'm going to do a bit of chopping so I can play smoothly with the tempo of the whole uh, track, because it wasn't that in tempo. So what we're going to do is... So, uh, okay, now I have an idea. I'm just going to lay it out real quick, like do a little arrangement, preview the, uh, the beat, and then just wrap it up. So, yeah, uh, let's see what we can come up with. <laughs> 